Dear Rams fans, it's time for us to gather once again. Today we bring forth an exciting discussion about the future of our team in the NFL Draft. All the information I'll be sharing comes from reliable sources, so we can feel confident as we explore the possibilities ahead. Dot. For those of you who have been loyal to the Rams for over a decade, I invite you to subscribe and become members of our channel. Your support is crucial for us to continue bringing content like this, which both excites us and keeps us connected to our beloved team. Now, on to the main topic. Dot. Today we dive into a topic eagerly awaited by many of us as we've tirelessly counted the years since our beloved franchise used a first-round pick on NFL Draft Day. It's been eight long years, but the Los Angeles Rams find themselves in a rare position ready to approach the first round armed with a first round selection dot. This enticing prospect finally allows us to engage in discussions about the Rams in the context of first round mock drafts. And what I've discovered is a plethora of intriguing options awaiting us at pick number 19. So the question on every Rams fan's mind is what should the Rams do with their first round pick? Gathering insights from the writers at Turf Show Times, I've collected a variety of perspectives to help us navigate this crucial decision. Blaine Grays kicks off our discussion with a dual-phase response. He identifies Olu Fashanu from Penn State as his top pick. At just 21 years old, Fashanu possesses the potential to become an elite left tackle in the NFL. Though he may not be available at 19, the Rams would only need to negotiate in the 10 to 15 range to acquire him. Evan Craig. Goleg Evan Craig. I really like Jared Verse or Brian Murphy I, I, I for the Rams in the first round. I believe there's a good chance both players will be available by the time Ella picks, and the defense needs additional help after Aaron Donald's retirement. Danny Pedra. Kool-Aid McKinstry, but I think LA has options, so if they want to go offensive or defensive line, that's fine too. There's no problem with the Rams trading for more picks or if they can trade and get their guy, then they should. Jake Allen Bogan. Chop Robinson. The Rams' biggest need, in my opinion, is an edge defender. They may feel good about calling up three young players advanced in last year's draft, but only Byron Young of those three played significant snaps. They may feel good about bringing back Michael Hope to add depth to the position, but without Aaron Donald. The Rams won't be able to get away with the same edge defenders they had last year. Chop is the best edge defender in this class that I've seen so far. I think he's the only one who can mimic the extremely fast first step Donald brought to the table. His lack of production doesn't worry me for a few reasons, but the biggest is that he was part of an unusual rotation while at Penn State. Regardless of whether the Rams stay at the 19th overall position, move up or down, the best available option to also address the biggest need is Chop Robinson. Kenneth Arthur. I think you could go in many different directions and make sense, but I'll add Illinois defender Johnny Newton to the conversation here since I don't see him mentioned as often as some other names. I'd deduce LA's options in the first round like this. The 18 picks before the Rams selection should be heavy on offense, which I believe will push some potential defensive talents from the top 10 to 19. I think if the grades are equal, uh, the Rams should focus on a defensive player rather than an offensive player. And I think they need to improve the defense before worrying about a defender like Cooper DeJean, or maybe even an edge rusher like Latou. For that reason, I'll highlight Newton, the most productive interior presence in the 2024 NFL Draft, and someone who could be a steal at 19. Now I'd like to hear from you, our valuable fans. Who would you like to see the Rams pick in the first round of the draft? Share your opinions in the comments and let's turn this space into a true forum for discussion. To wrap up, I invite all of you to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any updates about the Rams. Also, don't forget to leave your like and share this video with other Rams fans. I promise to bring more information and analysis about the draft and other topics related to the Rams in the future. Together, let's support our team towards success.